Gibraltar. That smaller island must be Gozo. Yes, here it is on the map. Malta and Gozo. And there's Ramla Bay, where Daddy and the Professor are hoping to open the tomb. I agree with you, Professor. The shrine which the legend speaks of may have been destroyed by a rock ball on the cliff face. Perhaps not destroyed, but just shifted, Dr. Trevor. These steps are as the legend describes. And here we can see where the roof of the cave has fallen in. We're inside here of what may be the way in. Just as the legend says, at 50 paces from the foot of the steps, I have searched and found smooth rock just under the soil here. Professor, we're on to something. A Greek inscription. Can you make out what it says? Calypso. Oh. <laughs> Archaeologists throughout the world will be astonished if the rest of the legend is true. The gold statue should be in there just as they left it. The sooner we can start opening this officially, the better. First thing tomorrow? Certainly, first thing. I'll let the department know when I'm in Valletta. Well, I must be off now. I've got to meet my children at the airport. You must hurry if you want to cross over to Malta. You are going to be late. There's a boat waiting for me in the bay. Tom and Suki won't worry. They're used to my being late, poor kids. That team, eh, boss? Yes, that's our man. What the I shouldn't do that, Dr. Trevor. It's loaded. Get in the back, please. We're going to your villa for a little chat. Are your two children being married? Yes, thank you. Thank you. He's late again. We might have guessed it. We'll just have to wait. Johnny, but I... Ah, yes, you are surprised. But in my business, Dr. Trevor, I leave nothing to chance. Your servant, Piale, is not from this island. You see, I arranged that he should be an old friend of mine. Now, inside, please. Karawat, karawat, some peanuts, sir? No, oh, thank you. How's business, Jiminy? By Jiminy, it could not be worse. Never mind, son, never mind. Dad can't have forgotten we're arriving today. I wouldn't put it past him, especially if they've discovered something exciting at the dig. Now, will you kindly tell me what you mean by this outrageous behavior? Certainly, Dr. Trevor, certainly. I was about to begin. It is just that I have a simple proposition to put to you. One that I think will be of advantage to us both. I can't think of any proposition Please, of yours. Dr. Trevor, if you will just let me speak. We've read in the newspapers that you're digging in Gozo and that you plan to uncover an old tomb. We know, too, that in this tomb there is a golden statue. Now, I want that statue. So, that's what you're after. It may not even be there. In that case, neither of us will have lost anything. Now, listen, Dr. Trevor, I'm perfectly willing to be fair. I don't need anything else that might be there. Pottery, carvings, old bones, you can have all those. 
and welcome. All I want is that statue, and I'm willing to pay you a nice sum for it, 500 pounds. Take me with you, hand it over. No one need ever know it was there. I'm an archaeologist, Mr. Maxey. Not a thief. When I open up that shrine, it'll be with a team of experts. And if there is a treasure, it'll go to a museum in the country to which it belongs. So you're wasting your time. I have plenty of time, Dr. Trevor. I haven't. I've got to meet my two children at the airport. Now, get this into your head. I'm not going to let you have that statue. So will you kindly get out of my house? So you have children arriving. I think you will help us, Dr. Trevor. I think you will. Do you know Dr. Trevor's two children? No. They just come here for the first time, Signore. Well, even for you, it shouldn't be too difficult to pick up two children at the airport. Get down there, pick them up, and bring them straight back to me. You understand? Si, Signore. I will bring them back straight away. See that you do. Now get along as fast as you can. I'm hungry. We've been here for nearly half an hour. Don't you think we'd better get on by ourselves? Do you know where to go? It says on our labels. Villa Celeste, Floriana. I wonder where that is. Just outside the old walls of Valletta. You spend your holidays there? Yes, with Daddy, Dr. Trevor. We thought he was going to meet us here today. Don't worry. My father, too. He always late. He tell me Jimmy. I meet you at six o'clock and is then... Is that your name? Jiminy? My name is Jani. But when I learn English from my friend Mr. Robinson, he say by Jiminy all the time. Now I say it too. And people call me by Jiminy. What is your name? I'm Tom and my sister's called Suki, which is short for Susan. It's not very short. I really think we ought to go. Is it far? Yes, never let her. Long way from here. Then I think we ought to take a taxi, Tom. Yes. George, he will take you. <whistles> George, Floriana, Villa Celeste. Goodbye, Jiminy. Goodbye, Tom. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Suki. If your father comes, I will tell him where you have gone. Goodbye. Have a good holiday. Goodbye. Goodbye. And thank you, Jimmy. Garouette, Garouette. You lose something, senor. Yes. Two English children. Always something goes wrong for me. Have you seen them anywhere? You are Dr. Trevor? Oh, no. But he sent me here to fetch them. George, take them to the Villa Celeste. To the Villa Celeste? But, senor, what about buying a few peanuts? Don't oppress to me, boy. Oh. Here we are, Villa Celeste. I get your luggage. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be anybody about. I suppose it's the right place. It must be. Come on, let's go in. Here you are. Oh, thank you very much, miss.
How many times have I got to tell you that I am not interested in your proposition? But you're being so obstinate and so very stupid, Dr. Trevor. I assure you, it would have been easier my way. If you're trying to bluff me, you're wasting your time. Oh, am I? Oh, no. It's loaded all right, Dr. Trevor. I told you I never take any chances. All right, so you've got a gun and it's loaded. Now, as I've no intention of changing my mind, what will you gain by shooting me? Nothing. Of course, you're quite right, Dr. Trevor. But at the same time, I think you will come to terms with me. Oh? What makes you think so? Because I shall have your children. We must get a policeman, quick! <laughs> be here in a minute. There is nothing to worry about. As I told you, I sent Piali down to meet them at the airport. That is all. If you do anything to those children... What happens to your children, Dr. Trevor, is entirely up to you. But until they arrive here, let us make ourselves more comfortable. Scabio! Scabio is handy with a gun. Take Dr. Trevor upstairs. Watch him. I will leave you by yourself to think for a while, Dr. Trevor. I have some business to attend to. You've done a good job, Jiminy. Catch. Bye, Jiminy. Thanks. Business still no good? Think you do better in town? Maybe you're right. I'll give you a lift. I'm just going off duty. Thank you, you very kind man. There's one, Suki. At last. Come on, quick. Ah. There you are, Jiminy. Son. Peanuts, lady. Your please. Your boy. I take food from. Yes. Thank you. 
Well, my dears, welcome to Malta. I do hope you will have a nice time here. Where is he? Where's my father? What have you done to him? Oh, he's perfectly all right, my dears. That's not true. You're making trouble for him. He's quite safe. Only so sorry he wasn't able to meet you at the airport. We know all about that. We heard you. Where is he? Yes, we heard you. We were here. So you needn't attend to us. He'll never do what he does. Never. If he does find that stuff, he'll go to the museum. And we don't care what you try to do to us. It's an SOS. Daddy. It isn't any good, you see. Now, if you'll excuse me, but you won't try to escape again, will you? It might be dangerous. No doubt you heard your children downstairs. Perhaps you will understand at last, Dr. Trevor, that I mean business. Have you made up your mind? No, there's nothing here that can help you. Why can't you see it's all so simple? You give me the statue, and I in return will make sure that your children will not meet with any accident. You! Tom! Shuki! Get out of here! No, they will not be able to do that, Dr. Trevor. I hope it won't take too long to make up your mind. Well, think it over. I will be back in an hour or two to hear your decision. Scabio, where are the children? Where have they gone? Well, but I thought I saw them a minute ago. They were here. They haven't passed my way. Yarly. You've let them go again, you fool. Me, senor? It was not me that let them. I did not move. Well, whichever of you did it, they have. Now, don't stand there glaring at each other like two fools. Find them. They can't have got far. Look in the garden. Come on. Search the front. Right away, boss. in his own house. The Villa Celeste. We've just escaped. Please, one at a time. What is this story? Your father, Dr. Trevor, has been captured by some bad men. They are holding him prisoner. They all have guns. Oh, please, don't laugh. It's true. They're after the Golden Calypso. To steal it. The Golden Calypso? Ha, ha, ha. Well, we shall soon see. Her arras bleeds at the Villa Celeste, El Furiana. But he won't answer. He can't. We've told you they're holding him prisoner. Villa Celeste. Valletta Police here. Can I speak to Dr. Trevor? <clears throat> Trevor speaking. Valletta Police? 
Oh, can it be about those mad children of mine? Oh, yes, they are here. They have a fantastic story. Well, officer, you know how it is with children. Always up to some mischief, eh? Yes. They've been reading a lot of Penny Dreadfuls lately. I see. Too much comics. Imaginations. Oh, yes, sir, I know. I have three of my own. Well, take good care of them for me, please, will you, until I come along and pick them up? Oh, certainly, sir. I'll keep them... No, oh, sir, no trouble at all. But that can't be Daddy. Surely he'd ask to speak to us. Let me... 